Hey friends, Sean from Draft Therapy here, and on today's review for you, I prefer to call it Septuagenarian. Seventy Plus is a 6.8% West Coast style IPA from Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. West Coast style IPA and Old Nation aren't two things you generally think of going together. You know, Old Nation's known for their New England style IPAs and lately their lagers too. But this is, to my knowledge, their first canned West Coast style IPA. So let's get a look at the label. We'll get it into a glass. But first, I'd like to thank my executive producers, Eric Lutowski, Brian Kramer, David Jeffries, and Zach for helping to bring this review to you today. If you'd like to become a producer, help out the channel, and maybe just buy me a beer, take a look at my Patreon at patreon.com slash draft underscore therapy, where you can get early access to these videos, exclusive patron-only live streams, and a few other special perks available only to patrons. Take a look at the label. So this is very reminiscent, obviously, of a lot of Old Nation's beers. Uh, on the top, we have the ON for Old Nation. It says New Orthodox India Pale Ale Series. 70 plus West Coast India Pale Ale. This is 6.8% alcohol by volume, 72 IBUs. They tell you again, as Old Nation generally does, they tell you the malt, which is Pilsner, the boil hops, which are Columbus Simcoe Amarillo, dry hopped with Columbus Simcoe Amarillo and Idaho 7, keep cold, product of USA, drink fresh in the state of Michigan. And then on the back here, it says, we've made IPAs of all kinds in our 20 years of craft brewing, but the classic West Coast IPA is one of our absolute favorites. To us, West Coast IPA is about a straight down the middle Pilsner malt bill and hops, which bring lots of pine and citrus notes to create a dry, hoppy, and aromatic ale like none other. For hops in 70 plus, we chose the classic Columbus and Simcoe hops for their pine-like contribution, along with Amarillo for citrus and floral notes and the proprietary Idaho 7 for a new school tropical twist. What was old is new in 70 plus. On the other side, it has the Old Nation logo. It says Old Nation Brewing Company, uh, oldnationbrewing.com, and lets you know it was brewed and canned by Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. This was canned on, packaged on April, I wanna say 7th, 2021, Old Nation Brewing Company. And it's funny, you know, reading this, I didn't really notice it, but this says it's part of the New Orthodox India Pale Ale series. Other beers you may remember in the New Orthodox series are Greenstone, are M43, Boss Tweed, so all those cart horse, so all those typical beers that you think of when you think of Old Nation. So I am going to use an IPA glass today, and we're going to go ahead and crack this. I, th I think it's kind of interesting that um, reading down the side here, you know, you think of some of the stuff that's in here, and it reminds you very similarly of what they do, like I said, in that New Orthodox series. So I think that's kind of a callback to that. But let's go ahead and put a nose on the can. We'll crack it, that was a big crack. This definitely smells more like a West Coast. It doesn't have such kind of tropical sweet aromas. There's a little bit of a floral in there, but a lot more of a citrus, a piney uh, note in there, and it also has a bit of a dankness to it. So let's go ahead and pour this. Coming out pretty golden. It's coming out pretty clear out of the glass. I'm sorry, out of the can. Out of the glass. Uh, letting it pour in the middle there. And we're going to let the head kind of build up. We've got about three to two and a half fingers worth of head. This is not hazy. You would not mistake this for hazy just looking at it. As you can see from the overhead, though, lots of nice kind of airy bubbles. Very, um, very foamy, very dense, like styrofoamy, you know, just really nice, dense bubbles on there. Again, that's a pretty nice looking head. Let's go ahead and hold it up to the light there. Yeah, this cannot be confused with a New England style IPA. There is this nice carbonation rising up from the middle. You can't really see this because you can't get close enough, but there is this kind of like these really super tiny micro bubbles kind of rising up and there's this other kind of, you see all these kind of other bubbles cascading down. It's just a really nice looking uh it's a really nice looking beer just at, at a close-up i wish i could get closer to it let's put a better nose on the glass here though yeah getting those floral notes getting a, a lot of a pine getting a lot of citrus more of an orange kind of citrusy um but yeah go ahead and try it out i'm really looking forward to trying this cheers Definitely not going to confuse this with a New England style anywhere from 
the look of it, from the taste of it, from the mouthfeel of it, it's not that kind of pillowy soft mouthfeel that you're kind of maybe used to tasting in a New England style IPA or an Old Nation beer for that matter. Um, you know, most of their stuff, like I said, is either, I think they're really heavily, obviously in the New Englands are the lagers, but the mouthfeel in this is a little bit more crisp. It's a little bit more of a lighter mouthfeel. It's obviously not so heavy, not so thick, not so soft. Uh, let's talk about the taste. Definitely on that West Coast tip. I mean, this couldn't be confused for a Midwest style IPA. There's not a big malty flavor to it. It does have a malty quality to it, but it's not like it's not something like a two hearted. It's not something like a like a Huma from from Shorts. It's not something like a 51K like from Black Rocks. It has this really stable, just long lasting, orangey kind of bursting flavor that just sits like as I've, even on the first taste, when I talked about the mouthfeel, all the way to the swallow, to the finish, to the aftertaste, there's just this orange, just kind of bursting flavor. It's not so juicy necessarily. It's orangey in the citrusy kind of realm, but it also has this, where it has a little bit of an orange peel zestiness. It also has a pininess that kind of sits there, hangs out on your tongue. It's just really interesting. It's not, you know, I, I, I guess I would think that Old Nation's going to put some kind of New England style twist on this, but they don't. This is it like a traditional West Coast style IPA, but like I said, it's just got a little bit of a different quality because that orange, orange just f flavor lingers with you for so long. And I, and I don't think a lot of, and it's still like, as I'm talking now, and it's been a few, you know, maybe 20 seconds since I took my drink. I'm still tasting that orangey kind of flavor in there. It's not dying down. There's a bit of a, almost a floralness to it as well. It's not going away. It's just kind of still sitting there. It's not, it's not, you know, magnifying, it's not amplifying, but it's definitely still sitting there, still sitting with you and lets you know, like, hey, you took a drink of this, of 70 plus, it's still going to be with you for a little bit. And, you know, you might not necessarily, you know, sometimes with a beer, with an IPA, with a West Coast, it dries out and then you kind of lose the flavor a little bit, or maybe you get that, that dryness just kind of sits on your tongue. This is a little dry, but it's not super dry. And, and I think that orangey kind of quality I've been talking about, that little floral note sits with you for so long that it doesn't, while it might actually be pretty dry, it doesn't let on to that because it, that, that orangey flavor just sits with you and just hangs on. And like I said, with most West Coast style IPAs, it doesn't, it's not like that. It's just kind of comes, the flavor subsides. You might get a little bit of a bitterness, a little bit of a dryness on your, on the, on, on your tongue and the mouthfeel might dry out a little bit, but this one, that oranginess just sits with you. And that's what re is really sticking with me. And that's, you know, as I think about it, as I drink it more, and the more I talk about it, the more it just kind of, it just lingers that it's, it's a lingering orange flavor there. And again, there is that piney bitterness in there. There is that zesty orange peel kind of bitterness as well. It's not overly bitter. It's not like super like puckery, just West Coast style, dry out your mouth kind of IPA, but it definitely has major West Coast style influences on it. It's almost, I mean, it's at 6.8%. It's almost like, um, it's almost just like a, a, a more approachable West Coast style IPA, in my opinion. You know, there are some people that when they think of IPAs, West Coast style IPA is what they think about. I think with this, you could introduce it to somebody. It, a lot of Old Nation beers at this point are kind of like, you know, in that, new, in that IPA kind of space. They're introductory beers now because things have gotten so much crazier than what M43 did, what Boss Tweed did, does. Still excellent beers. But they're just not as nutty as some of the stuff that's coming out now. And with West Coast, you know, for a long time, the race was just to get more bitter, more stronger, just kind of blow your mouth out with all the hops. And that's not what this is. And I feel like it's a more approachable kind of beer for someone that's not necessarily a huge enthusiast. Or maybe if, you know, you're getting tired of the New England styles, you're getting hop burnout or the West Coast, but you're not like a big West Coast fan because it's just too bitter. There's just too much. I think uh, 70 plus just really fills in that space where you're, you're not that sweet, smooth, you know, nice guy, New England style IPA, but you're not that big, bad, 
uh, West Coast style IPA. You're kind of right in the middle. You're not the Midwest style. You're not like a two hearted. You're not like those other uh, Midwest style IPAs. That's what I like to call them. You're there's still not. It's still not one of those, but it's like a little bit more approachable West Coast style IPA. And I think fans that kind of got burnt out on being as big and bad and those hoppy, bitter flavors or people are burned out on on having all the hot burn from the New England stuff and just getting more and more, you know, kind of just more amplified flavors or more just, just that hot burn that you get like in the back of your throat sometimes you just drink something that's too overly hopped. I think this one definitely has a nice niche it can fill. And I'm thinking if it's a, if it's in the new Orthodox series, maybe it's one that we'll see a, a little bit more often going forward. All right, friends, that has been 70 plus from Old Nation Brewing Company in Williamston, Michigan. Have you had this before? Do you have a favorite West Coast style IPA? What do you think of hot burn and are you starting to get burnt out on IPAs? Let me know in the comments down below while you're down there. If you like beer, you might want to subscribe and click that bell because I'm here talking about beer twice a week, Tuesdays and Thursdays is all for free for viewers just like you. And you might miss your newest favorite if you're not subscribed and getting those notifications. So click subscribe and click that bell if you haven't already. So until next time, I'm Sean from Draft Therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Remember, drink craft beer, support your local breweries wherever they are. These guys are in Williamston, Michigan. They're Old Nation. You should know who they are. And most importantly, don't forget to treat yourself to a little draft therapy. Thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheers.